Symmetrical components is the name given to a methodology, which was discovered in 1913 by Charles Legit Fortescue who later presented a paper on his findings entitled, Method of Symmetrical Coordinates Applied to the Solution of Polyphase Networks. Fortescue demonstrated that any set of unbalanced three-phase quantities could be expressed as the sum of three symmetrical sets of balanced phasers. Using this tool, unbalanced system conditions, like those caused by common fault types may be visualized and analyzed. Additionally, most microprocessor-based relays operate from symmetrical component quantities and so the importance of a good understanding of this tool is self-evident. The method of symmetrical components is used to simplify fault analysis by converting a three-phase unbalanced system into two sets of balanced phasers and a set of single-phase phasers, or symmetrical components. These sets of phasers are called the positive, negative, and zero sequence components. These components allow for the simple analysis of power systems under faulted or other unbalanced conditions. Once the system is solved in the symmetrical component domain, the results can be transformed back to the phase domain. The topic of symmetrical components is very broad and can take considerable time to cover in depth. A summary of important points is included in this introduction, although it is highly recommended that other references be studied for a more thorough explanation of the mathematics involved. Remember, maintaining balance among the three phases is crucial for reliable operation in electric power systems. However, in real-world scenarios, imbalances can occur due to various factors such as faults, asymmetrical loads, or system configuration changes. When a three-phase circuit becomes unbalanced, the voltages, currents, and phase impedances are no longer equal. This poses a challenge for analysis and troubleshooting. To tackle this complexity, engineers employ a powerful technique known as the method of symmetrical components. Characteristics and benefits, using symmetrical components provides a robust and systematic approach to understanding, analyzing, and solving various issues in power systems. It allows engineers to efficiently manage power system operations, enhance reliability, and optimize performance. Below are some key benefits and use cases of the symmetrical components in power engineering. Fault analysis, symmetrical components enable efficient fault analysis in power systems. By decomposing the unbalanced system into positive, negative, and zero sequence components, engineers can identify and locate faults accurately, facilitating quick troubleshooting and maintenance. It helps ensure the reliability of power systems. Equipment protection, symmetrical components aid in designing protective relays for equipment. By analyzing the magnitude and phase relationships of the positive, negative, and zero sequence components, engineers can set appropriate relay settings to detect faults and adjust the burden in instrument transformers to protect equipment from damage. Unbalanced load analysis, symmetrical components are used in unbalanced load analysis to help assess the impact of unbalanced loads on the system. Engineers can identify unbalanced loads by studying the negative sequence component and take corrective measures to mitigate voltage and current imbalances, improving system performance and efficiency. Network design and stability analysis, symmetrical components facilitate network design and stability analysis. By examining the positive sequence component, engineers can evaluate the system's stability under normal operating conditions and optimize network parameters. It helps in impedance calculations and transformer configurations to enhance overall stability. Harmonics analysis, symmetrical components aid in studying resonance in electrical systems. By analyzing the zero sequence component, engineers can identify the presence of zero sequence harmonics caused by unbalanced neutral currents or ground faults. This information is crucial for implementing effective harmonic mitigation techniques and ensuring the quality of the power supply. Analysis of unbalanced systems, except for the balanced three-phase fault, faults result in an unbalanced system. The most common types of faults are single-line ground SLG and line-line. Other types are double-line ground DLG, open conductor, and balanced three-phase. The easiest method to analyze unbalanced system operation due to faults is through the use of symmetrical components. Symmetrical components, the key idea of symmetrical component analysis is to decompose the unbalanced system into three sequence of balanced networks. The networks are then coupled only at the point of the unbalance I.e. the fault. 
The three sequence networks are known as the positive sequence. This is the one we've been using negative sequence, zero sequence. When the system is unbalanced, the voltages, currents, and the phase impedances are in general unequal. Such a system can be solved by a symmetrical per phase technique, known as the method of symmetrical components. This method is also called a three component method. The method of symmetrical components simplified the problems of the unbalanced three phase system. It is used for any number of phases but mainly used for the three phase system. The unbalanced three phase system is solved regarding symmetrical components, and then it can be transferred back to the actual circuit. The balanced set of components can be given as a positive sequence component, negative sequence component, and zero phase sequence component. Consider an unbalanced voltage phasor system shown in the figure below. Suppose that the phasors are represented by VA, VB and VC in their phase sequences VA, VB and VC. The phase sequence of the positive component is VA, VB and VC and the phase sequence of negative components is VA, VC and VB. In positive phase sequence component, the set of three phasors are equal in magnitude, spaced 120 degrees apart from each other and having the same phase sequence as the original unbalanced phasors. The positive sequence component of the unbalanced three phase system is shown below. In negative phase sequence component, the set of the three phasors are equal in magnitude, spaced 120 degrees apart from each other and having the phase sequence opposite to that of the original phasors. The three-phase balanced system is a special case of a general three-phase system in which zero and negative sequence components are zero. Normally, a power system operates under balanced conditions. When the system becomes unbalanced due to the failures of insulation at any point or due to the contact of live wires, a short circuit or fault is said to occur in the line. Faults may occur in the power system due to the number of reasons like natural disturbances lightning, high-speed winds, earthquakes, insulation breakdown, falling of a tree, bird shorting, etc. Under a no-fault condition, the power system is considered to be essentially a symmetrical system and therefore only positive sequence currents and voltages exist. At the time of a fault, positive, negative and possibly zero sequence currents and voltages exist. Using real-world phase voltages and currents along with Fortescue's formulas, all positive, negative and zero sequence currents can be calculated. Protective relays use these sequence components along with phase current and or voltage data as the input to protective elements.